Hey everyone, this is uh, Charlie Bros with Mark Knutson again, uh, Disability Landscape. Hey, today we're going to talk about a subject I think everybody knows about. We're going to talk about podcasts. Even Mark and I have a podcast we call Unreasonable Accommodations, but we're not here to talk about that. We just want you to listen to it. In the meantime, we got some great guests here to talk to. Mark, what do we got going on here? Yes, on one of our um, earlier shows, we had Cow Tipping Press on, and they held a class um, for um, for podcasters. And um, when are you taking it? What's that? When are you taking it? Yeah, I don't. I know we should have taken it before we <laughs> did our podcast. You're exactly. But we've got. Um, um, Hannah Stotts from Cow Tipping. I'll introduce her, and she will introduce or introduce us to the podcasters. Welcome to the show, Hannah. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here with um, some of the students from the class that I've Love. had the pleasure to teach for about 12 weeks this summer. Okay, 12 weeks. Yeah. So um, in the final few weeks, we focused on this podcast project as part of our journalism unit and um, all of the students here worked on um, a podcast where they interviewed each other and got a chance to answer some interview questions as well from other students. Um, okay. So yeah, do you guys want to introduce yourselves? I'm Luan and I, and I do cow tipping with my friends mm -hmm. and uh, I write brother and sister stories and put them into a storybook and write about brother and sisters because I'm reading, I've been reading about brother and sister yeah. storybooks and uh, I write brother and sister stories at the Cal Tipping class and I made them into a story. What's the name of your podcast? The name of my podcast is a, is a brother and sister story. Oh, brother uh, and sister. Okay, brother and sister. Yeah, sorry, Mark yeah. doesn't get things. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I got really interested in the brothers and sisters and I got thinking about that. Thank, thank you. Let's go to our next podcast. So who do we have next? Keith. Hey, Keith. Um, for me, my, <clears throat> my stories were, it was kind of a mix match for, for mine. I would say what I was feeling right on the spot. And it, it did kind of, it was scary for me at first, let's just put it that way. Okay. And so you have a key subject then when you when you talk? Or a title for your podcast? Keith and Laurent actually um, Did work work, they worked together and interviewed each other, oh, right? Okay. So they were oh. they were working on the same the same one, right? Yeah. We were work, we were working on the same one. Yeah. Oh that's great because very good. That's what Charles and I we like to have a co host. To, to help w with it because it just makes it a little easier and not, and not as um, stressful. Sometimes that makes it a little weird you're just talking to yourself. Right. <laughs> yes. Okay, our next podcaster. Who do we have next here? Megan. Megan? Yes. And what's the name of your podcast? Um, do or do you have a name? Or, or, do you, or what do you, what, what what do you, talk, what do you about? talk about on your podcast? Um, I like to write. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Yes. So it's about writing. Yes. What what kind of things do you like to write about? Anything in particular? I like the um, like stories, like mysteries and all that stuff, and TV shows and. Mm, cool. Mm, yeah. Some of my favorite subjects. And what's our last uh, young lady here? Well, um, I'm trying to tell you know, um, my stories. Some of my stories about was about my mother. She had passed away in January. Okay. And I was writing stories about her a lot. And um, a lot of stories about her and my family and, and uh, uh, just celebrating her life and um, just uh, being amazed about so many things I've been with so many people, uh, with so many programs. It's just amazing to know that people with disabilities can follow passions and dreams to And, and what, what's your name again? I'm sorry. I'm Chante Martin. Okay, Chante. Very good. Um, I guess one at a time, it doesn't matter who wants to start first, but um, 
Are there other classes or other things that you have, besides the podcast, are there other things you have done with, with Count Tipping Press? Or is it ma mainly the doing the podcast and that? It's mainly. Well, it's mainly like podcasting. Okay. Like, like we podcast, like we interview each other so much. Okay. Okay. So, and, and Hannah, um, what are the things that you, you cover in the classes with these folks to kind of get them ready to do podcasts? Yeah, so actually, like I mentioned, it was a it was a twelve week class. So we did a um, a lot of different genres in that time, right? If you guys mm -hmm. remember, yeah. Yeah. we went yeah. all the way yeah. from focusing on fiction and nonfiction early in the yes, semester to poetry, um, and, and then to mystery. <laughs> We did some mystery too and drama and then and we do yeah. and we do stories like like we do brother and sister stories even funny stories. <laughs> yes, there is definitely some so, humor injected throughout. So do you have a funny class. story you can go share with us? Well, I heard when the when here's the funny story that, that I've wrote about. I wrote about I wrote about Madison was a, was a farm girl who worked on a farm and. And she saw a dancing chicken who was dancing on top of a snowy mountain. And then, then Madison was on the farm working on something. And the, and suddenly, when when Madison was on the farm, she was working for growing fruits and vegetables. But when she saw something missing, the the chicken was gone, and, he, and the chicken was on top of that snowy mountain. And Madison called the chicken called the chicken on the farm, and Madison was like. Chicken, what are you doing on top of that snow mountain? You go back on that farm, you sell your chicken. <laughs> oh, yes. That's great. So, so and the then the chicken, the chicken went back on the farm. And Madison was like, don't go back on that snow mountain, you silly chicken. Yeah. So instead, instead of why did the chicken cross the road, why did the chicken go on the mountain, right? <laughs> so in, in, um, in your... Your podcast, make it. I'm gonna jump over to you real quick. Um, what's one of your favorite things to write up? I know you want to talk right mysteries and TV. Mm -hmm. Is there a particular like TV show that you say, hey, I want to talk about this one? Um, I talk about like Grace Anatomy mm -hmm. and all that stuff. Okay. And Do you like the medical drama kind of thing? Yes. Okay. Are there other types of TV shows? You like about you like? Um, I get a whole bunch of them. Oh, do you? Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. So it doesn't matter if it's a drama or comedy or. Yes, comedy and dramas and like yes. Okay. Okay. Well, Grey's Anatomy is her favorite. Um, yeah. ah. Most of the time, she would always talk about Grey's Anatomy and what yes. she watched. Mm -hmm. She well, loves mm -hmm. Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yes. You know, I'm ashamed to say it's twenty. It's been on nineteen years. I've never seen it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I, yeah. And that's beautiful. Wow. I never see something like that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So now that you like your family stories, what kind of, do you do other things besides family or is it basically focused on your family then? Well, I, on my family story, <laughs> this is about my journey growing up. Okay. In the bottom of the day's community and, uh, uh, a lot of times I just talk about Rondo Days because it's important mm. and it's a big organization. Yeah. Oh, right, it has right. a lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I grew up in Rondo Days. I grew up in Rondo when I was about 18 months old. I was adopted. Um, I lived in a foster home with this woman named Marcella Martin. And um, basically, I write about her a lot because it's, it feels good to write about family and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you're writing about family and your community and yes. growing up in Rondo and yes, because that, that that's actually a very well known and kind of important section of St. Paul. Yes, and it, it it's good to you can relay those stories. Yes, yeah, because with the Rondo history, that yes. neighborhood mm -hmm. was split more or less by the yes, freeway it was. by the freeway by um, ninety four. When 94 was built, that um, neighborhood got split then. And I think they're looking at trying to bring, bring, bring it back together. Yeah, by putting 
something over 94 and, and, and making it a neighborhood again. once again. So that should be interesting. That, that, that would definitely would be interesting in that. So and I'm back to you, Hannah, for just a sec. And, you know, you, you talked about the genres and, and how people kind of pick out what they wanted to talk about as their, as their subject. But when you're creating the, 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 um, or teaching them about podcasts, are there you know, fundamentals that are involved? What, what are the fundamentals that you want to teach everybody when they're learning about doing a podcast? Yeah, I think we focused mainly on um, how to prepare for an interview, both as the person asking the questions and then also filling the role of the person answering the questions, right? Mm -hmm. If you guys right. can yeah. remember yeah. Yeah. how we split up into groups um, of students and then yes. um, I gave them the theme of creative writing and self-advocacy because they were taking this class mm -hmm. through something called the self-advocacy academy so they'd I think all just come fresh from a different course on self-advocacy okay. into okay. this creative writing course and so we wanted to oh, kind of and, blend and those two topics and work on um, coming up with questions that would be interesting to ask their their classmates during the during the podcast very nice and you know this day and age self-advocacy is becoming a really big thing and it, it's it, it's great because then we're teaching ourselves and others around us to say, I gotta stand up for me. I, I have this disability or that disability, and you guys, I need to be treated in a way that helps me, you know, do what I need to do. And that's important, right? Yes, exactly. Um, you know, I'm an advocate myself, so basically, it doesn't matter who you are because you have a passion, you have to just follow your dreams and believe in yourself because no matter who you are or what you do in your life, just follow your passions and your dreams because they can come true no matter what. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. If you follow your dreams, your dreams can come true and your dreams can take you on a journey. Mm -hmm. Yes, they will. Yes. They and will. the journey itself is, can definitely be mo most interesting, correct? Yes. <laughs> But as long as the journey keeps going, that's what you got to keep doing, right? Right. You have know, you know, the journey. Yeah. Some, sometimes it isn't the destination; it is the journey. It is. Yeah, yeah you're right. Like you're right. Now, your dreams will never fail if you follow your dreams. They will take you on a journey, but not to a destination. Now, you two guys say you do a podcast together, correct? Yes. About brothers and sisters. Yeah, brothers and sisters in that. Um, do you have anything else that you, you know, other um, things you would like to say that you have found out while doing the podcast or other stories that maybe you haven't talked about yet, that but that you would like to in the future talk about on your podcast? I would like to, if one, I would like to talk about some science fiction and some college and some college skills, and I like to talk about some college skills and some science investigations, and join some join some sports teams and join dance teams in our future. So you you want to branch out what you talk about and make it more right, wide reaching. I want to talk about some different kinds of futures that I like to do, and 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 I can talk about some other kinds of stuff like science and all kinds of other school <coughs> subjects, and make my story go wide, even wider, and make my story go easier so I can tell my friends about the stories that I've made. Cool. How about you? Any thoughts of what other stories you would like to see from your brothers and sisters? I, w I would say, like, try to be with your brothers and sisters because if they're, if they're not there, then you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be here today. Okay. And right. So the importance of family. Yep. Okay. If you don't have your if you don't have your family there, what are you doing? That's yeah, right. Yes. Yeah. And then do you have any hobbies that you enjoy that you might want to talk about later when you do when you get doing your podcast? Are there hobbies that are of interest? Let's see. Bowling. I would write I would like everybody 
it would it would benefit the people that are that are out there in the community right now that are like me to to never give up. If you give up, you're that's you failing. Yeah, that's that's good advice. And and Megan, you you talk um, you know you talk about Grey's Anatomy. And so, is there other subjects that you think you might want to get into as you you know try to do more podcasts? Um, yes, I do. And what kind of subjects? Like uh, like surgeries and mm. you need like uh, you need help for for like like. All the doctors and nurses okay. needs needs people <coughs> to fix them and and pull them okay and all that stuff. So. And, and I think everybody here is, has had plenty of experience with doctors. Yeah. And so it, yep. And a lot of them been really good to us. So that's yeah, good to talk about them. And now, good. being that you like to do TV shows, correct? Megan? Yes. Yes. Now, are you going to rewatch this show? And critique us, then that's fine. <laughs> well, yes. Oh, that sounded good. Oh. That's pretty good. <laughs> yes. Well, that sounds pretty good to me. We, we will take bad that reviews, sounds pretty but, good. <laughs> <laughs> but only that's to a certain good. extent. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Um, they're coming back, and I like to watch it on Thursdays. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. great, Grace. Yes. Grace and Adam. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yeah, because they like, yeah, like eighteen years, which yes. amazes me. Because I think when they started, you might be able to correct me on this. I have a feeling yes. back then when Grey's Anatomy, I don't know if the show ER was going at that. Yes, 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 it was. yes. Because that's the yes. show so I watched. I watched yes, the ER, yes. and I was, I, I was just like, oh my gosh, Grey's Anatomy is. Is, is, is still going on and all that. <laughs> yes, it is. Welcome to this episode of TV Guy of Live. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. So, and Hannah, you, you, you just, how recently did the uh, class, are you still in the class or have you concluded the class? We, yeah, we finished the class, right? About, yeah. Yes, we did. Um, yes, we just, did. Just last week was our okay. final, final so you day. Get to so, finish. Um, are there plans to do another class for more individuals, or what's the story there? Yeah, right so Cow Tipping offers um, multiple classes oh, multiple really? times a year. <laughs> yeah, well, um, yeah, partnering with different organizations. Um, okay. And I think they um, have plans in the works to do another class with yep. the Self Advocacy Academy at ACT. Um, okay. Advocating okay. for change together. Think is what that stands for, as well. So yeah. Awesome. When you're um, not doing the podcast, um, what's the most favorite thing um, you guys enjoy doing? Just take your turn. Whoever wants to start here. Maybe we'll start at this end. Mm-hmm. Being we have always started at that yeah. end. Well, so, we start so, with the- so what's your yeah? What's your favorite thing to do? Not podcasting, really. Um, my favorite thing to do is advocate because I'm part of ACT. Advocate Change Together. Um, it's another organization, and um, we're going to do a presentation pretty soon about helping people have access to computers okay. and internet because it's important to oh, yes. raise this money because we can do our presentations. And um, I was on a retreat. And we were staying at the Ma'anami Retreat Center. And we were talking about um, raising $400 so we can give people with disabilities and without disabilities access to internet, which is the worldwide project that's going on now. Yeah. Okay. And, and Megan, what, I mean, when you're not watching Grey's Anatomy, <laughs> what, what do you like to do? Um, for me, I just sick it, sick it up and do your, my best and and is buy some journaling and all that stuff. Oh, so you like to journal that? Yeah. Do you journal every day, every other day, once a week? How? Um, not every day. Not every day. No. But when you can, kind of yes. maybe once a week, you think, or yeah, or when you when you can think of something to just, just when just, it when it hits you, yes. you want to do it. Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah, I tried journaling once. I still yes. have a book of uh, white, empty pages. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. And Keith, what, what, do you, what do you do in your fun around, mm. you know? For mine, I would, I would, I always go bowling every oh, yeah. time that I can oh, get yeah. a chance. Okay, yeah. yep. it, 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 it's a uh, great sound when those pins go flying. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> now, with, with you, because you are visually impaired, correct? Yep. Is there any adaptations um, that you need to have done well? Do you, do you use a ramp? Do you nope. throw the, your own no. ball? I throw my own ball. Oh, you, you do? Yep. And as long as you can uh, figure out where the arrows are, you're in good shape, right? Yep. yep. All right. All right. And what about you? What, what's your favorite thing to do out the uh, hobby? Well, I like to go swimming and make new comments for the aquatic people. And and maybe and yeah. and splash people when they splash me back. I splash I splash them back at <laughs> at them at their eyes and their faces. And then I got them wet. And and then I and then I like to go for a walk around the lake. And let's close to uptown. Okay. Mark and I used to grow up near. Yeah, uh, we grew up in so. Lake Nakoma, so, so we know the area. Yep, I used to go. Spot. Used to go swimming there and that. So we were yeah, just we, at the lake. Yeah, we we were at Lake Nakoma. The one located in South Minneapolis on Cedar Avenue. Yep, yep, it's a big, great place. Big beach. <laughs> yep, <laughs> yes, big it is. beach. I was. I, I usually went on the other side to, to Little Beach and that. So yeah. So you're the splashing kind, huh? Yeah. <laughs> ah, I, they splash, they splash yes. me and I splash yeah. them back. Yeah. So yeah. you guys gone swimming with Splasher here? Yes. Well, you know, I, I have the first yeah. time I went swimming. We were, we were all in the lake and. You know, we we had so much fun swimming, and we were splashing each other. <laughs> oh, we, yeah, we we oh, were we, splashing each oh, other because we, we, we went to Lake Nokomis in South Minneapolis, located in Cedar Avenue. Mm -hmm. Yes, yep, we did. We just did. yesterday. Very cool. And Anna, no, you must have a hobby. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I guess what I've been doing lately since it's the summer is just trying to spend time outside when that's, I can. That's a big I like thing going, in Minnesota. I like going to um, Como Park. So, that's my, and, you my know, choice. And you get but away from the splasher, right? Yeah. <laughs> far away. <laughs> far away. Yeah. So, and, and you get these, uh, these great people here. In, in the most recent class, though, how many people actually participated in the, the podcast class? Yeah, we had a group of seven students, so this is actually the majority of them here today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if people want um, more information on podcasts or on cow, t cow tipping that offers it, um, who do they uh, contact on that? I would assume there's a website. There is a website, yeah. Um, I think it's cowtipping. Um, but if they, if they, sorry, sorry, yeah. didn't mean to, yeah, <laughs> and, and, yeah, 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 I, I, I saw the look on the wall, but they just yeah. count it, but just, yeah. they, you just we'll, go, we'll look it Google, up. yeah, because I always forget what it is too, and I just, <coughs> I just Google cow tipping, yeah, and I, I just think. say cow tipping, and it comes up, cow tipping press, I'm like, that's what I want, yeah, so, I think yeah, it comes right up, have, so, so. <laughs> now we got to wrap up here, um, appreciate everyone coming in today. Yeah, you know, tell us about uh, the fun you're having there. <laughs> and just, um, I think the last question is, where do we find your podcast? Is, are they at Cow Tipping? Yeah, I think um, Cow Tipping will publish them. They're not ready for um, not quite ready for the role, publication the whole yet. World yet, but, but no. um, hopefully soon, yeah, you'll be able to find them either on their website or. Um, Facebook page. Okay. Um, Facebook page. Or one of the. Because once yeah. our all too, I will. Because we have a Facebook page for Disability Channel Minnesota. So okay. I definitely, when I have, when I see them, I will definitely share them to our, our, our folks page, out there. To our folks in that. So. so. All right. I want to thank y'all for coming. We've got to wrap it up here real quick. Um, Hannah and the gang. We'll tag it. <laughs> and uh, thank y'all for coming. I'm here with Mark Knudsen. I'm Charlie Bros. You've been watching Disability Landscape. We'll see you all next time. <laughs>